Hi thinkers, welcome to the microprocessor playlist on ThinkX Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to study about string data transfer instructions. So basically in the section 4, we are actually covering the string data tra transfer instructions. One of them which we have already covered is the loads instruction and in this tutorial, we are going to cover stos which is store and uh, then we have moves ins and outs so in this tutorial we are going to cover these four uh, simple string data transfer instructions and we will study what are the uses of each of them so basically we already know that uh, what we are dealing with is transferring the strings uh, we are actually considering the instructions of assembly programming inside of microprocessor so let's start with the stos which is also known as store so here i'm just going to write here store right so s is appended at each and every instruction which signifies that it is actually a string data transfer instruction and we have already studied one more which was loads and this was actually used to load the string uh, inside of the accumulator in stores which is store string we actually stores the accumulator so here i'm going to write stores accumulator so accumulator register can be a l a x or it can be even e a x which is like this and now we know that this uh, is actually to store the accumulator and it will store this accumulator at the extra segment extra segment memory location so in the segmentation uh, of this series we have already studied about extra segment which is es so we actually what we are going to do is we are going to store the accumulator uh, one of these registers in the extra segment of the memory location and one important thing is that this memory location is actually addressed by the di register right so the two main registers which are used in uh, string uh, instructions are the di and the si registers so here when we are considering the extra segment di register is involved and when we are considering the data segment the si register is involved right so let's take a look at an example of this type of instruction which is the stos instruction so first of all we know that this will have four different variations the first one is considering a byte transfer so in case of byte we actually use stos appended by b right so b will exist at the end in case of uh, we have word double word and uh, even quad word so what we will do is in case of word we have w in case of double word we have d and in case of quad word we have q and the procedure that we are going to follow uh, that will differentiate these four are actually going to be similar in case of moves ins and outs instruction also right so let's first take a look at stos b which is to move the which is basically to store the accumulator the at the extra segment and we are considering a byte so we know that when we are considering byte we are actually going to pick up al because it is 8 bit or 1 byte so uh, first of all extra segment is actually es right so what we are going to do is we are going to store the string at es uh, segment and we know that it is addressed by the di register so the way to do is to write di and since di is the reference we are going to mark it in the square brackets right so this actually signifies that it is extra segment and it is addressed by the di register and then what i'm just going to do here is uh, here i'm going to store it inside of the accumulator al right and after doing this the simple step that we're going to perform is to increment the value of di because we are considering a string and 
the increment will be plus minus one because we are considering one byte so it signifies that what we are going to do is we are going to increment the value or we can decrement the value of di right so now di will uh, can actually refer to the one byte before or above the segment where actually i'm trying to store the accumulator uh, which is referenced by the di register in case of word we have a similar approach we have uh, es di and in case of word we have ax and here di will be equal to uh, di plus minus 2 right uh, for uh, stos double word we have similar approach but here we will have ex and then we will have plus minus 4 and then here in this case in case of quad word we will have uh, plus minus 8 right so this is how we actually do the uh, stos operation which is actually to store the accumulator now let's move on to the next one which is the moves right so moves is a very important instruction and what it does is uh, its significance is that it actually transfers data and since the data in our case is string so i will write transfers data from one memory location to the other right that's the essence of a move right we are actually trying to move the data from one memory location to the other memory location right so that's what moves does and obviously this data is going to be uh, the string so i'm just going to write here that it will be of string type and here uh, what it has the it it also has these four variations which means that it can transfer a byte or a word or even double word and quad word and similar to this we will have these variations in moves also and in ins and outs also we will have a similar variation so let, let's take a very simple example of moves with a byte right uh, so one more thing about uh, moves is it transfers data from one memory location to another but uh, it transfers it from the data segment right so i'm going to write here a very important point that in the case of moves instead of data uh, in, instead of extra segment we are now concerned with data segment because we are actually trying to uh, transfer the data so it will transfer the data from one location to another uh, using the uh, data segment location and uh, we know that data segment location uh, is actually addressed by si right it is addressed by the SI uh, to the ES location uh, and this is actually the data segment so let's uh, construct the uh, instruction here we have moves byte and now I want to actually uh, do the ES right we can even transfer from data segment location or the extra segment right both can be done here in this case right we have both of these options so the first option will be this one which is es which is reference uh, referenced by di we know that es is referenced by di if it would be ds which is the data segment then we will have to use the si but here let's uh, take this example of extra segment and this will be actually assigned to ds si right so what does this mean this means that what we are essentially trying to do is we are trying to move the data from one memory location to another or one segment to the other so you can see that uh, this is the first segment that i have which is es we know that es is referenced by uh, the di and ds is referenced by si so what essentially i'm trying to do here is i'm going to move the data from the extra segment to the data segment right we can even do the opposite also uh, for example i can just write it something like this right so one memory location to the other is actually done here uh, so most uh, this is the important point that we are actually trying to move the data from one segment which is es 
to the data segment ds right so in the case in the first case we will have to also increment the value of di right so di will be equal to di plus minus one because we are considering one byte and we will have to also increment the value of si which will be si equals to si plus minus one because we are actually trying to address two locations so when we will transfer one uh, string uh, to the other location we will have to update the values of si and di also right so we will update them by one so now the uh, the next data will be transferred from di plus one and then it will be transferred to the data segment uh, which will be located by si plus one so that's the significance of these two statements and the similar thing is going to be uh, is also going to happen here uh, we have uh, some similar operations we also have move s w move s uh, double word and quad word and similar to this we are going to actually use the instructions like this now let's move on to the ins instruction ins instruction is a very simple instruction it uh, will uh, just basically take input string instruction so in stands for input string right so it is an input string uh, instruction what it essentially does is it transfers data and we know that data can be a byte it can be a word it can be also a double word or a quad word right so it will transfer this byte from the io device to the extra segment right so i'm just going to mark it in square so that it will be highlighted for you so what ins does is ins will transfer a byte word double word or quad word depending on what we are going to choose if we want to transfer a byte we will use ins b similarly we will use ins uh, w d and q for double word quad word also so what it does is it transfers the data from input I output device to the extra segment so this type of instruction will be useful when we want to uh, load something from an external device to the memory right so it is basically io to memory uh, one basic example could be uh, let's say there is a program in the hard drive right in the hard disk and we want to actually move it to the memory which is the ram we can use the ins, uh, instruction so let's see how we can do that first of all uh, first important thing is the io address which is the address of the device right because we need the address of the input output device then only we will be able to uh, transfer the data from the io device to the uh, extra segment and this io address is by default uh, contained inside of the dx register right so that's a new information that you have got so i will mark a star here that this uh, io address is actually addressed by the dx register so in byte what it is essentially going to do is uh, let's say we have extra segment right and we know that extra segment is referenced by di what i'm just going to do is i'm going to store it it will be equal to dx right so dx is actually the address of the input output right so what it does is it transfer the input output device data which will be stored at the dx register to the extra segment right so you can see that this will actually give the io address and at the extra segment of the di reference will be equal to that address right so that's what essentially this ins do and then we have finally the easiest one which is the outs and it does the opposite of ins it transfers the data from uh, the es to the io device right so uh, we can actually let's see how we can do that so first of all we have this outs which will do the output string 
that's the first important point and it will transfer the data uh, now instead of es it is going to take from ds which is the data segment to the io device right so that's what uh, the output string does so let's say we want to uh, write from the memory to the hard disk right opposite of this case if we want to write the data from the memory to the hard disk what we are going to do is we are going to access the memory uh, using the data segment and then we are going to push it inside of the io device so obviously it will be opposite of what we have done in ins so it will be similar to outs right then we are going to do the opposite we want to address the io device right because we want to transfer it here so ds will now be uh, will come here uh, at first and then it will be equal to the data segment which was which we already know that it is referenced by the si register and since this is a string transfer we are going to update the value of si equals to si plus minus one because we are considering a byte instruction which you can see here it is outs b right if it is a word we will write plus minus two then four and then eight similar to this right so basically that's all for this tutorial uh, thanks for watching <music>